So now... It's a lot of buttons to press. No hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but... I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Yeah, I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Yeah, I don't want to destroy what they built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. You do know I have no moral high ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I did say we were going to be an asshole. I did say we were going to be an asshole. Don't worry about it. I was barely listening to you. Oh. Well, okay then. Because I'm still swapping the switch. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Run. It's all right. It'll be fine. I mean, it's not like they can go cold. I would laugh if somebody gets stuck in their house or something. That to me actually would be amusing. Okay, now what does it have us doing? <laughs> oh yeah, this is like a maze. God, that is pretty. That's one thing I gotta give them credit for. This is a very beautiful game. Hey, we're actually close to level 5. 
Oh, see. Oh, that's what I want. Ooh. Only two? Yeah, let's see what's in the safe. Nice. Hey, we got what the Mercer wanted. Edgewater. Deep powered my ass. Ow. Something tells me we're going to wind up finding our way out of there. But we have a side quest over here. So we'll go to the docks. There's two. I kind of want to open up that military little thing down there. Just see if we get anything interesting. Oh, there he is. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. You mentioned something about a logic manual module. I found one the geothermal plant. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical horde. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple bits for your trouble, and a little something to remember me by. Oh, we leveled. Okay. There we go. Wait, I can equip her with random crap? Hmm. Here, hold that. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> now that is called being sadistic. <laughs> oh, we can change her armor. Oh, we got two of them. You cannot purchase restrict you dicks. Drop 
my sights on you. That's nice. Guess I got my sights on your warehouse. Oh my god. We can open that chest and not use anything. No regrets. Just gotta wait for him to leave. Go away before I have to kill you. I like that the moral system pretty much is very, very light in this. Doesn't take me any to unlock that. You going outside the building or are you going to walk inside of it waiting on me? <laughs> yeah, we'll pay him bits. I'll pay you 63 bits to look the other way. I'll pretend I didn't see it. Good. Because I won't pay you again. Next will come your debt. Don't take me long to unlock sh Either he's looking the other way still, or we are just robbing blind. Okay, well he goes to the other side. Stupid. Because I know we're probably going to need that ammo. Into town we go. Terror of the Monarch. Oh, that's actually funny. From the doomed world. All the lights in town went out. Since then, I've had wild-eyed workers begging my guidance. I'm surprised you would go along with this action, Ms. Holcomb. 
I'm not sure what the right and wrong of it is, sir. But leaving the deserters with neither walls nor lights would have left them to the mercy of marauders. Let's hope walls alone are sufficient, then. <laughs> fuck this town and fuck Retops. <laughs> oh. I'll just say the first part. I wanted to do that other one, but I'll just do this part. Oh, inarguably. This town was a pustule on the ass of the architect. Uh, metaphorically speaking. You took it upon yourself to decide the fate of strangers. I don't know whether that's confidence or arrogance. Either way, I'm fascinated. I got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> it's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French! Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want the book to keep others from reading it, you just want it for yourself. Well, uh... Yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. <laughs> Plague in Backwater. What happened to all your crap about the fleeing your flock? Please, those dolts. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aether Wave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Ah, eh, fuck it. Actually, what's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back, not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a toss-ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand, if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Fuck it! Get in the party! Fantastic. Let me get my things in order, and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Miss Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery, and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Okay. It's a good thing we don't have little Timmy, because we just incorporated a priest onto the ship. in that cannery. You must be very proud. How the fuck are you alive? Are we getting paid or not? Any loss of productivity will be deducted from your pay. 